So, let's see what's waiting for us up here, apart from the, the lot of death. Well, he died. Oh, nope. Death for me as well. Right, where are you? Where am I? I'm on the stairs. I've got a crossbow. I'm outside, actually. Alright, maybe I'm not on the stairs. However, I am the last person alive for my, uh, my people, so I best be a little bit careful about what I do. Or, just fucking get straight in it. I mean, they've got a nice little position there, which uh, keeps them out of the way of everyone. However, we've got uh, many, many men. Many men, many, many men. So what we need to do is sort of establish a toehold up there. Whee! <laughs> and hopefully with enough men, we can do such a thing. Because we'll get reinforcements. Yes, we might lose a lot of men, but uh, that's the nature of the game. You're gonna, f no, you're not gonna fall. Instead, you po something's poking out you, which makes you look like a, you've got a huge erection. Right there. <laughs> Wee. Is he is he alive or is he dead? Is he sort of like suspended in motion, like a a clone, like a baby in vitro? I'm, uh, three meters it went, so that means oh, we've got someone up there. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's fucking do it, chaps. Right, so here come the main people. We've got Gerhard von Down, it's Bishop von Lance, and then down here, so so had someone important there, Johann Herzog von Braunschweig and Lüneberg. So it does seem we have established some kind of foothold up here, which is great stuff. Ha ha. You die, please. He's right there. Alright, I think I've just uh, bashed him with my shield. Ow. Come on. Alright, well he's dead. Stop bouncing off. Oh, come on. Right, I'll take that shield and try not to fall off the edge. That's you. You there. Nope. <laughs> Come on then. Careful. Uh, does he think that like not not crossing the doorway is going to uh, save him? Hey, right, come on then. You want to play it this way? I'm not sure what that shit at the sides doing. But you want to play it that way? Ha ha ha! Right, it looks like he's falling down. I want to take the sword. Look at them all, scatter like rats. Ow! Look at them, shoot at me like, uh, like skilled marksmen. Ha ha. Where the fuck am I getting shot at from? Somewhere over here. Alright, them! Ow. Right, I'm gonna get back inside. Well, out there is quite dangerous. 
a glaive there as well. I don't quite like a glaive. I dropped the crossbow, but I gained a glaive. Glaive is pretty good in a uh, meat grinder. Seriously, was he an, is he an enemy there? So we've got enemies over there. I'm right at the very back of the pile, so I'm going to make a juicy target. Especially since I've got to look forward to where uh, to be able to attack people. What's going on? I've got a small hold up. Nothing major. I think they're feeling quite secure in their little stupid tower. I could go through there, down them steps, up them steps and kill them, but uh, if reinforcements came in that time... Oh, hello, there's the meat grinder there. Oh, right, we got beaten back there. Oh, great, they're going to take positions above the... Uh, Above the ladders, yet again. So all of our hard work is for naught. And I'm sick of being spawned as a fucking archer. Yes, it looks like uh, we've lost our little toehold because reinforcements was a bit too slow to get there. However, there's a nice shield down here, so I will take that. Yeah, our new enemies have arrived. So it's just going to be another waiting game for uh, for this to fucking sort itself out. I might just wait down here for uh, for the men to do the stuff, the AI. Let them sacrifice sacrifice themselves on the enemy's blades rather than me, because there's only me left. So I don't want to be doing anything rash, like getting myself killed. It's a pity frag grenades don't exist in this time, because, I mean, look at all this. All these men packed tightly together would be a grenadier's dream. Or maybe just drop a mortar right in through the roof. But unfortunately, we don't live in such times where we have uh, artillery and mortars at our disposal. That's for with fire and sword, fire and sword, and Napoleonic Wars, not warband. Warbands or swords and shields and mountain blades, pretty much. It's funny that it's it's a game called Mountain Blade, and it's a game about mountain and blades. You would never have guessed, would you? I've got a bill. And if I could actually move, that would be excellent. I'm getting pushed right into them, so I may as well jump and die. Yep, all that for nothing. Right, well, it looks like it's just me left again, so I might, uh, I'd have to wait for us to gain another toehold, because I can't risk myself, otherwise that's me out of the fight. And if I go on them ladders, I'm going to get pushed up there. So I may as well wait until we've established some kind of a... Uh, I'm tempted to say beachhead, because that's what it's like, it's like Normandy. Loads of men throwing themselves at a heavily defended position with uh, a small hope of women, a hope of superior numbers, and a slight surprise, and maybe not people throwing themselves off ladders, because that's bad tactical sense. So this is probably one of the more bloody sieges that I've witnessed, because this is such a good defensive position, this ladder, because you've got men who can position themselves all around it. So, reinforcements have arrived, so there's three of one now. So I can now try and crowd surf to the front. Which isn't going to happen. You can see that they're not moving there, so that means there's still enemies up at the top. And the fact that there's no bodies back there, you can see, empty space means that uh, everyone's dead. Let's see if I can't get any 
good equipment, like a heavy heater shield and maybe a sword. Drop me. There we go. Now I'm kitted out like a motherfucker. Right, are these going to get here anytime soon? Come on in! The water is lovely. There's swords and shields are plenty for you to choose from. Right. If I come up here, I'm not sure why I've, I've still got the little falchion. But I do for some reason. And they're coming in, so that's good stuff. I'll tell you what the deal is up here. I'm going to be at the front of the queue, so I'm going to just be a little girl and let them all go first. It's not called the suicide wave for nothing. Right, so I've got my heavy kite shield, I've got my uh, sword. The only thing I'm missing is a pair of balls to go jumping in. Especially seeing as there's all these floating bodies in the way. I can't see what the fuck's going on. Look at him circling around. Ah! Alright. Now I'm stuck here. Can someone let us down, please? Please, pretty, pretty, please. I can't, I can't move. Not until someone lets us down. There we go, right at the very end of the queue. Excellent. Just what I need. But we've got reinforcements, and with that comes more men. So, hurry up and get here because we are running low on men and we don't learn, want them to establish yet another toehold. They might be out of enemies though because normally they'll have been reinforced by the time they're down to 55. Or maybe I've just got the number wrong and maybe it's actually like 50 or something where they get reinforced. I'm not sure. I've got a lot of time to kill until I even get back up there. So, I think what I'm going to do is actually cut the action here and then resume when something interesting happens. So I'll see you on the other side. Oh shit. Is everyone a pirate now? Yar! <laughs> Alright, well, I'm up top anyway. So die! Ah, oh, not die straight away. Fucking excellent! <laughs> Alright, well, I've spawned back down here. I've got a military cleaver, which is good. It's good for chopping up meat and flesh, I suppose. But not friendlies for some reason, it just bounces straight off them. Oh, come on. Get your glowy shit out of my face. The only thing is, I don't have him. Uh, I'm gonna get pushed off here. Nope. Maybe not. And I killed someone, but I fell. Great, now I'm crowd surfing again. Excellent stuff. I'm slowly but surely making my way over this way. Just going with the flow, I suppose. I am naught but driftwood, tiding along on the sea of war. That's quite a poetic analogy, if I do say so myself. That's not like me. Normally I'm all about dicks and uh, <laughs> immature things. Come on, let us up. Get down, get down. Yes! Excellent stuff. Right now, all I have to do is battle my way through his helmet, battle my way past his arse, battle my way past this bastard who's trying to push in. Fucking cute jump. That's how you hit the fucking nerve of some people. There we go. Because I'm going to go assaulting them archers. Or insulting them archers. Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelled of elderberries.
Ho ho. I'll well, use a fucked anyway. Right. Just get down here, in amongst the trees. Although trees have no cover or protective value against arrows or bullets or any sort of projectile for that matter. Alright, stop throwing javelins. Right, I wanna get, I wanna try and get some of these bastards up here who have been tormenting us with their impudence. Like, oh you can't hit us. Well, archers. Oh yes I can because you're archers. And therefore you are stupid. Oh, hello. Well, I'm killing some of them anyway. We're fucking doing it! We're doing it! Ha! Yes! The deer belongs to the Holy Roman Empire. Excellent stuff. It's uh, taken a lot of lives and a lot of time, but I'm going to kill myself. Bye bye. Ha! Right, so we lost 16 men right, and 12 wounded. Um, all told, we lost 428 men and they lost 248. So for every one man we killed, they killed two of us, which is pretty good odds which is pretty good from a defender because it was such a well defended point of uh, point of attack so the pole is now ours and our offensive against the Polish continues so next on the list will probably either way it will be Poznan or Krakow I don't think we'll go for Gnitzno yet because uh that's of no significant value. So Poznan will give us them three towns. Krakow will give us probably them three towns. Um, you're a castle, so you're of no in, like no use. You're a castle, so you're of no use. So if we get rid of Krakow and Poznan, and maybe... Uh, no. Chomno is... Uh, a castle as well so Poznan and Krakow are the only towns they have left so yeah I think uh, we're well in the driving seat we've managed to take let's see what we managed to take we managed to take Wrocław like this little section of land here we managed to take and Gdansk don't forget Gdansk so that's gonna be it for this episode and hopefully the next siege doesn't take so fucking long. Uh, so, until next time, farewell.